Hello friends and welcome to the official Sat Commerce channel. It's me Shekha this side and I welcome you all uh, to this uh, new video. And in this video we'll be talking about the HubSpot Magento 2 integration extension and how you are going to integrate your uh, Magento 2 store with HubSpot. So let's start but before starting I would like to mention one thing over here that our HubSpot Magento 2 integration extension is a SaaS model based extension that is software as a service uh, model based extension which will be distributed to you uh, via a centrally hosted uh, platform called Seller Next which again has been created by us. So uh, it may sound a bit complex but it is not uh, trust me and uh, that is something that I'll be taking you through today to make you understand about the process to integrate your Magento 2 store with HubSpot. For that, you need to first of all uh, connect your Magento 2 store with Selenext and then link your Selenext account with the uh, HubSpot account. So let's start and see how it works. So friends, once you have installed the uh, HubSpot Magento 2 integration extension, you first of all need to do the configuration and uh, for that you need to go to your Magento 2 admin panel which looks something like this. So on the left side, you can see HubSpot once you have installed the extension. So you need to click on it and on clicking it, you can see HubSpot spot configuration option over here you need to click on it because configuration is the very first process it's a foundation step we can say to integrate a store so here on the configuration page you can see under HubSpot integration uh, the first field that you see is that of enable a HubSpot integration so you need to select yes in it because uh, you need to uh, enable the integration so uh, after selecting yes the next field is abandoned cart so in this field you need to enter a, a particular number for the minutes after which your inactive cart on your store would be considered as abandoned so let's see how it works so suppose a buyer has come to your store and has uh, added certain product with uh, in a shopping cart and has left that uh, shopping cart inactive uh, without taking any action like without uh, buying that product. So after how many minutes or after what, which duration should that uh, in, inactive cart be considered as a uh, field here is the RFM settings which means recency, frequency and monetary. So before starting with this I would like to mention that this uh, particular field is uh, to make you understand uh, your customers to make you understand their behavior so you can uh, understand it on the ba on the basis of three factors that's recency which means uh, how frequently they are uh, purchasing product from your store frequency which means how many products they are uh, buying from your store and monetary which means how much money they are spending on the product of your store going to the next step that is installation so for installation you again need to click on HubSpot from the left navigation bar that you can see over here and here you can see installation under HubSpot integration. So you need to click on it and uh, from here you can connect and uh, activate and authorize your uh, Magento 2 store with the uh, seller next. So here under integrations all that you need to fo focus on is set commerce integration and uh, here uh, it is written reauthorize because I've already activated uh, this integration but in your uh, account in your admin panel it will be uh, written as activate like it's written over here and you need to click on the set commerce integration activate button. Once you click on it. Uh, you can see a box like this and under this uh, under API you need to click on this HubSpot you need to select it and it's already selected otherwise it looks something like this you need to click on this uh, triangle shaped uh, sign and it becomes black which means it has been selected so now you need to click on reauthorize uh, or uh, activate or allow button would appear over here you need to click on it and once you click on it a uh, box will appear uh, something like this a new tab will appear something like this and that would be so this is how it will appear once you have signed in uh, in this box it will ask you to click on this i agree button and you need to click on it to authorize your Magento to do store or link it with seller next once you click on it you'll see this message Magento authorized successfully and this window will be closed automatically so now uh, what you need to do is that you need to go on to your seller next account in a separate window in a separate tab and you need to link your seller next account with HubSpot. So for that I've already opened uh, my uh, seller next account over here you can see it over here. So here when you'll be logging in you need to go on apps from the left side you need to click on available apps and when you once you click it you'll be navigated to this page as you can see right here right now. So here you can see different accounts you need to concentrate on HubSpot account and you need to click on this link your account button in order to link your HubSpot or uh, your seller next account with HubSpot uh, for HubSpot integration. So 
when you click on it again a new box will appear like this and it will ask you to log into your hubspot account but since i have already told that i have already uh, logged in in my hubspot uh, account uh, so it is appear like this appear like this if you haven't logged in you just need to enter your username and password and uh, the page will appear something like this you need to select your account over here since i have many accounts so it's showing like this but you can choose your account if you, if you have just one account and upon clicking it for example if i'm clicking this account uh, the page will start uh, the progress something like this and the data will be start uh, getting synced from uh, Selenet or with Selenex and Hub. So you can see now the installation in process and in the back you can see success, HubSpot authorization completed successfully. And this installation uh, in progress will take some time like contact group and property created successfully, contact lists created successfully and all the lists will be uh, created successfully in HubSpot. So now all the list and all the settings have been, all the all the data have been uh, synced between uh, Selenext and HubSpot and uh, it has been done via uh, this Selenext platform and all the uh, data has been now synced from uh, Magento 2 to HubSpot via this Selenext account. So here on the left side, you can click on this HubSpot and you can see that all these uh, things, all these data has been uh, linked and created on the HubSpot like uh, custom group, custom properties, smart list and workflows. All this uh, can be seen now on your HubSpot account. And I hope you all like the video. If you have any query, if you have any question or any doubt, you can reach us via the links or the information content information given in the description in this video if you are watching it on youtube if you're watching it on our website you can uh, click on the uh, links uh, given like support and reach us via skype or live chat you can reach us uh, at any time as we are available 24 7 to help you out and we'll be uh, looking forward to hearing from you soon if you have any query uh, and this is how you integrate your store and i hope i hope you all like this video and uh, I'll be saying you uh, bye right now as uh, I'll be meeting you some other time with some other video. Till then, bye-bye. See you. Take care.